This is The Prophet. Fresh coconut. We got fresh coconuts right here. In 2016, Vinny Zaldivar launched Coco Taps, pioneering a new way to get the juice out of a coconut. It's extremely popular with the Las Vegas vacation crowd, including me. Open it, drink it, it's really good for you. But I want to see if this is a product that will appeal to the mass market. The coconut water craze is huge. And if I can tap into this, well, I can make a ton of money. Life can be a tough nut to crack. Coco taps will get you right on track. Great taste, less waste too. Coconut water just flows right through. Woo. Oh, hi. Hi. Hey, I'm Marcus. Doing? Marcus, Coco Vinny, nice to How meet you. How are you? Nice I'm, to meet I'm you. great. Good to meet Coco you. Coco Vinny, is that your actual name? Legally changing it this year. Yeah. For All real? In, full on. Coco committed. You got the beads going. You live this lifestyle. This is it. So this is Coco Taps HQ. How you doing? I'm Marcus. That's Coco, Coco Rob. Rob. Coco nice. Rob. Yeah. Okay, what are you changing your name also? <laughs> Hi, I'm Danny J. See, thank yes. you. You're not Coco Danny well, J. Coco DJ here. <laughs> okay. Okay, listen, right now you're Coco Nuts. That's I Coco Joe, that. by the way. Nice to meet you. Joe, how are you? Nice to meet you. And what is your actual name? Joe? Joe Cancino. And are you also changing your name legally like him? Uh no. Okay. <laughs> <Good to know. laughs> Wow, this is big. We sublease from another produce company. This is our inventory up top. We're all coconuts. We all share the space. It's kind of like a working facility. All coconuts meaning that you're all nuts? Or we, we're nuts. We're cocoa nuts. This is our tap room. So okay. this is where the magic happens. We, we unwrap the coconuts. These come from Thailand. Well, how does it come into you? Like this? This just came off the boat. So can you take me through the tapping process? Tap crew, set them up, Coco Joe. What's up, Tap Crew? Show them uh, how to tap a case. So we have a branding iron. We just slowly roll it across and put the logo on. That's cool. We do 108 to 130 coconuts an hour. Branded tap, ship. OK. Goes in here. We pass it down here. You take one of these. It goes into a drill bit that fits perfectly around the plastic part. Then it gets wiped down and packed. Right? That's the freshest coconut water you can ever drink. This coconut water tasted different than anything else that I've ever had. It felt so pure and so clean and so refreshing that I know that consumers who like coconut water are going to love this. And I like the fact that Vinny is bright and he's bold and he's a salesman and he's got a good idea because the tapping process is clever and actually looks like he's put some thought into it. I'm fascinated. Okay, I'm gonna, are there different size coconuts? Cause this yeah. is a lot to drink. Well, and that's why we made it resealable. You put it back in your refrigerator. Yes, sir. This tap system keeps it fresh for up to three, four weeks in the fridge. I want to go out into the uh, Yeah, it's getting cold warehouse. in here. It's sure. getting cold. And so talk to me about the nutritional benefits. Okay. So this has every electrolyte that your body needs to produce energy. Magnesium, potassium, calcium, phosphorus, iron, sodium. Do you only sell in Las Vegas? Right now, we're just focusing on Las Vegas. Isn't Coco Tap this? This coconut water tastes delicious, but what I'm not sure of is exactly what product he was making and what he was selling. And is he a coconut importer? Is he a coconut distributor? Is he a tap manufacturer? What is Coco Vinny selling that's actually proprietary? In my mind, that's the only way to make money here. You buy these from a distributor? Yes, we have a produce provider. And how much do you pay for a, a case? Nine to a case right now puts the cost of one of these at what? $1.55 on average. Plus, we add our tap, our labor, our stuff. So we're in at about $2.22 all in. And then what do you wholesale it for? Right now, we're at $5.55. At wholesale, $5.55? Yeah, and they're going for 12 bucks on the strip. So they double, triple them from there. We're very successful. So you're the only one with a tapping system for a coconut. Yeah, the only made in USA. We've got utility patents on the tap. We have a whole bunch of international patents we're going to be filing for the systems and the procedures. A patent is the best way to protect your product and, more importantly, make investors comfortable. If you think about a castle, the reason that the king and the queen are safe is because there's a giant ditch that goes all the way around it. Anytime you can have something that protects you from other people copying it, then it gives you real security that the idea is not only scalable, but man, you can make a ton of money. So what prompted you to get in this business? I hated my life before. I was the CEO of a gaming company. I was overweight, overworked, unhappy. So I 
took a step back and I set my mission to the next thing that I was going to do. I had to be good for people, good for the planet, and good for me, fun. Start over. Start. Reset. Wow, that takes a lot of guts. I wanted to get healthy. I lost 60 pounds. And all these athletes are drinking packaged, processed coconut water. It tastes like crap. Yeah. And it's it's very polluting to the environment. So 90% of everything that goes into recycle ends up in the ground or in the ocean again. Yeah. So that's why we're about zero waste. I like the fact that Vinny is very focused on his business being zero waste, which means everything essentially is biodegradable. This is the tap. What is plastic? You told me that your whole thing was about not having waste. It's just cost. I mean, I, we got to figure that one out. Yeah. What you have to be careful of is when you have a philosophy about who the company is and what it stands for, you got to have no instances where people could be like, ah, I got gotcha. you. Nobody's perfect. Nobody is, but don't let costs compromise the edict, right? Yeah. The, the manifest of the business. Then Coco Vinny is like Coco Scammy. Yeah. I don't know about that. No, but I'm yeah. not saying that, but you just don't want to let anybody right. say it. Right. He told me earlier that he wanted a zero waste company, and I'm not sure as I stand here, is that a goal in the future, or are you trying to sell me something and trying to convince me that it's correct now? And I'm a pretty good judge of character, but I'm having a very difficult time trying to decipher Vinny's real person from this character he's playing. So you take the tap out, you just turn. If you have a spoon, just spoon out all that meat. So I can just, whoa, I thought it would be harder. No, it's soft, beautiful. That's a young coconut. Now that's the fat. That's the fat. You're not feeling it. <laughs> so he's not a meat fan, we know that. I don't even know how to describe <laughs> it. Don't ever make me eat that again. Look, I'm all for trying things, and I know that I probably seem narrow-minded in saying never, but I tried it, so you can't say that I didn't try it. But never again, ever. <laughs>